morning, good afternoon, and good evening to my peeps, wherever you are in the world. This is Old Man Yummy M. Signing on. What up? What up? Yam Nation, what is up with (laughs) y'all? What up, Yam Nation? What's going on, guys? Hope you guys are having a great week. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday. Man, it feel like I was gone for a long time, but, you know, taking care of business, working, you know, kind of take a little toll on the brother. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) But I got a video for y'all. This video is from Penguin Zero, you know, and this video, it is called Creepy Rapper. (laughs) So I want to check this video out and see what it's all about. So... Let's go ahead and check out Penguin Zero Creepy Rapper. So, here we go. Pretty cool. I found another smegma nugget going through my binge of bad rap battles. So, let's let's just get right into this shit. We got my boy Touche. Give it up. And on this side of my right, we have the homie Snipes. Put him on. Give it up. Yeah. All right. After a super flashy, mega turbo, ultra cool intro for both rappers, we're now introduced to the protagonist here, Snipes. He's the star of this story, so let's go ahead and rap to the future. Alright, straight up. If my dog had a face like yours, I'd shave his fucking ass and teach it to walk backwards. Now we've been blessed with a small taste of this man's flow. There is really no flow here. It's some avant-garde, <laughs> anti-flow type shit he's going for. Really, you're going to find that there's no rhythm to anything these guys say in this rap battle. They're just kind of speaking at each other. Neither one of them really rhyme anything. For example, his first line, I'll shave my ass face on a dog and make myself do a handstand or whatever the fuck his line was. Half the time I wonder why I rap for. I wonder why you rap as well. We all do. Trust me, touches. They don't say these cats are all ripping badly. Seriously, they're missing originality. So don't you think it's time one else locked their back door? I mean, what are you going to do, cunt? I bet you he'll say I'm on some gay shit. Yo, I'm so well, I grew up in a sick bay, and I think, fuck, Todd here, got it around the other way. Because he's just basic. <laughs> Yo, you know how whores go to St. Kilda, right? You love where the vinegar is, clitoris is. But his hideous bitch is different since she opens the door and stands out the front. I roll past giving a shit like, fish tank better with lemon, you slut! This guy looks like one of the villains <laughs> in the Halo World universe. You know, the fifth graders, always bullying the fourth graders and looking weird and shit. For the most part, you can understand him. He's just extremely loud and obnoxious, and I really hate that. But, uh, yeah, he's given a little cooking advice. Fish always taste better with lemon. You know, fucking Chef Ramsay over here, the battle rapper. Good stuff all around. She flips, she flips out of the nut and chases me down. I'm like, there's no need to get sour, cunt. You think I'm gonna be polite? Nah. In all honesty, I couldn't say it any nicer. The best way to advise you is to stay where your lights are, then take your eyes up so you'll have slight light to survive like five months before I decide to not slide an off inside your guts, and even if you think you're coming, you're still a bitch. I'm what? the slide decider. Sounds like he's trying to do some type of fucking Australian tongue twister. Standard <laughs> amateur shit where you just say a bunch of words as fast as you can so no one can understand you, and that's somehow supposed to impress people. Listening to this guy is just a fucking painful experience, too. It's like listening to your parents having sex. It's fucking awful. You can literally hear the spit leaving his mouth every time he tries to speak it sounds like he's gargling phlegm in between each word it's like he's constantly battling with mucus in his mouth to try and get the words out it just sounds gross all run on empty you fill your tank right up it's my job to train you in a cipher you got a better chance of taming a tiger with raping and dice like the stuff of face inside a gay nightclub time cunt yeah. I don't understand. I'm sorry, little kids, but I'm a killer clown today. I could say bullets are gonna spray. I'm from Brooklyn. That's all right. Welcome to the final boss of <laughs> rap battling. <laughs> they say that this man is the one who greets you at the doors of hell. This is the most uncomfortable person to listen to on the planet. He raps like he's reading a bedtime story to a child. He couldn't even accidentally rhyme something there. Could say bullets are gonna spray. I'm from Brooklyn. That's okay? Why couldn't you just say okay? It's a shitty rhyme, but it's better than just saying, that's alright. I mean, at least get an accidental rhyme in there, you fucking dweeb. Look, let me just say, I like to get close and personal with a razor-sharp object. But, let me just say this. I'm not gonna stab you in the heart. 
What I'm going to do is grab a pen, stab you in the neck, punch your lungs, then slam a blunt object into your <laughs> stomach. Spoken like a true fucking psychopath. This isn't even rapping. This is him just telling him how he's going to murder him and all the steps he's going to take. This could actually be used as some type of murder confessional if this man is ever convicted of something. <laughs> he said a murder confessional. Blunt object into your stomach. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, internal bleeding. There it is. A beautiful line. That was worth the build up there. The saddest part of this is he clearly wrote these down since he's struggling to remember them and starting over if he messes up. So the fact that he had these written down and thought they were good battle rapping lines, I, I can't even fathom that. He must have thought he was going to some type of artistic slam poetry event or some shit. But to sit there with a pen and paper, oh yes, hit you with a blunt object after stabbing you in the neck with a pen and releasing your lungs from their cages while I masturbate in the corner. Ooh, ooh, that's some fire bars right there. Good, good job, Snipes. Now, before you die, let me just say this. The reason I call myself Snipes is because I take my time to rhyme. I'm not complicated. But, I'm like a sniper. I am straight for the heart or the head. I'm straight and direct. I might hide two Ks that way. You'll know when I hit you. As soon as you hit the ground. <laughs> Even the dog is crying at how bad this is. Wait a is. minute! Wait a <laughs> minute! Wait a minute! Wait, wait. Time out, man. Time out. This dude is explaining himself. He ain't rapping. He basically just like explaining. <laughs> What he going to do? <laughs> but he always talking about, he always say, my name is Snipes, but this is me and this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Why is he not rapping? Why is he explaining himself of who he is and how he's going to do stuff <laughs> with, with no rhymes, no catchphrase, no nothing? <laughs> this... This dude, he didn't even need to be in the cypher. He, the cypher, he needed somebody else to take his place, man. So let's finish this. Here we go. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. This guy said some shit on Facebook. Here we go. Joke of the Dark Knight shit. So don't let me go all James Holmes on you, Dark Knight shooter. Is that a little bit too soon? <laughs> and let me just say this as well. If you want to be the Joker, why don't I give you a bottle of pills, a Chelsea smile, and instead of Heath Ledger dying, why don't you replace his death? Because nobody will give two what? shits about a guy who looks like a fucking meth head. Here we go, Dr. Seuss is really starting to get in the zone now. Oh man, he's really spitting rhyme after rhyme. This dude's a true fucking innovator in the rap battling field. He doesn't story. rhyme, he doesn't flow, all he does is speak. That's yeah. it. He just speaks and makes people uncomfortable. He's a very creepy guy. <laughs> I'm skipping Touche's next two rounds because I can't really stomach listening to him that much. Uh, his rhymes are horrible. Everything he does is horrible, but it's not entertainingly bad like Snipes. Snipes is the real star of this show, so we're just going to listen to his next two rounds. You said in your first battle against H. Murray that his face looks like he got into a fight with a... Wait a minute, I just don't, I really don't understand. How did this dude, who did he, who did he rap for before he jumped in and started to, you know, verse this other guy? What's his name? Touche. This dude is not rapping. He's like telling a story. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a regular conversation that you would have. With your friends. <laughs> no, nothing rhymes. No time with lime. No, no lemon lime with slime or none of that. This dude is just, he's just telling a story. <laughs> he telling, oh my God, let's finish this, man. This dude, yes, he is the star of the show. <laughs> Critical, he's the star of the show. Let's finish watching this. <laughs> I appreciate him giving us a recap of the previous battle, fucking Dragon Ball Z style. Here's what you missed last week. You can't say shit. Your face looks like you got into a fight with the blunt side of an axe. Nailed it. Really what? got him there. Damn. 
<laughs> you telling a story. You, Time. You what are you even struggling with here? You're right. not rhyming or rapping. Why don't you just keep talking? It's not right. that difficult. It's all you've done so far. The fuck is the problem here? Just recite a speech Wait. or something. You and know? look at her. <laughs> look at the girl right there to his <laughs> to the left. <laughs> Look at the girl to the left. She like this dude a fool. Look at the dude with the monster drink. He like, man, why is this dude up here? Look at this dude. He like, man, I don't know what's going on. The dude with the glasses. <laughs> he like, man, I don't, with the DC shirt, I don't know what's going on. Look at the girl with the uh with the lumberjack uh <laughs> shirt on that's next to him. She like, hmm, this dude right here. <laughs> I don't know what his problem is. Why is he right here? Why is he here? <laughs> I want the next battle to come around, man. This is crazy. Well, let's finish this. Here we go. The thing to fear is fear itself. And Snipes continuing to rap battle. Recite some schoolhouse rock. I don't care. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. I'm <laughs> sitting here on Capitol Hill. Conjunction, <laughs> junction, erectile malfunction. Just do something, Snipes. You haven't been rapping. There's nothing difficult about what you've done so far. Just don't end your time that early, because it's not fucking hard what you're doing. Right. Time! Alright, last verse on Snipes. Let's go, homie. Ready <laughs> Even the dog is crying. You think that I'm a soft cock? Really, I couldn't give two fucks, because you don't know me. You don't know what I've lived through. But let me just say this. I'm not the one to judge people. Yeah, this is rap battling. I couldn't give two fucks. Only for the factor of, I do this because I love it. Whether or not I choke out, it doesn't matter. not rapping! No, no, it matters. It definitely matters. And this definitely isn't choking out, Snipes. This is fucking stroking out. What you have done here is make everyone around you stupider for having to listen to the shit you're spewing. But, at one ounce... If there's an MC like you, who basically that shit just breaks like Indian curry, the off. Look at dude in the red shirt with the red shirt on. He like this is pitiful. <laughs> oh my god! I hope Snipes never show back up after that because I this dude probably was like the lap of the towel, man. Straight up. Let's finish this. Here we go. Oops, sorry. Bangers, there it is. Now this shit's pop locking and dropping. Snipes is really starting to feel it now. <laughs> then don't waste your time. Go do something else. Go do something with your life. We should make a law. If Touche's ever going to make a kid, ever have a kid, get his dick in a cunt, we what? should shoot the little kid. Snipes for Prime Minister, <laughs> who run on the platform of, we'll shoot babies of people we don't like. He's a shoe in to win it. So we're going to little touche is coming around like headless fucking chickens. A waste of space. But, hey, is I'm going to say this. Deal. Maybe next time I'll come repet, prepared. I got fucked up last night, forgot my lines. Couldn't memorize them, don't know where the fuck I put the piece of paper in my house. I'll bet you after, <laughs> I'll bet you after this battle, I'm going to go home. Just be wandering around having a ciggy. Please don't ever call it a ciggy again. That is by far the most childish thing I've heard in a rap battle. And then I'm just going to find them and be like, oh, fuck, no, there they are. Right in front of me. Dude, right there in the red... All of them are busting up laughing. <laughs> this dude is pitiful. He explained himself and what happened to him, why he can't rhyme. Boy, <laughs> nobody don't want to hear about that shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's finish this. It's almost over. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and this is all freestyle only because I choked out, I forgot my lines, I couldn't give two fucks, but no one can give two fucks about a clown who tries an axe top. He pulled it off at the very end, he got one rhyme in one there, rhyme. the true underdog story of 2017, Snipes did it. Right. Oh, what a beautiful third round from Snipes, just <laughs> casually talking about how he lost this piece of paper with all of his weird, creepy shit on it. Oh boy, that just got my engine all revved up, it just made me hungry. I think I'm gonna go have some soupy and just reflect on that beautiful round. And then unsurprisingly, Touche's wins, but we all know who truly won this one here, it was Snipes. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna go ahead and have a ciggy. <laughs> Don't forget about the ciggy. <laughs> 
Oh my God, that dude was terrible, man. <laughs> oh, that boy was just telling stories. He was just telling bedtime stories. He wasn't really, he wasn't rhyming or nothing. He had one line at the end. Oh my God, that was hilarious, boy. Oh, I might have to check out more of the rap battles uh, uh, Critic Al had uh, Penguin Zero did, man. That was funny. <laughs> Man, I hope I hope uh, Snipes uh, got his rise together, man. I wonder where he is. Where he is he now? You know what I'm saying? Because that is one of the most pitiful rap battles I ever seen, <laughs> and I know for sure that goes down to history as one of the worst rap battles ever. <laughs> Telling bedtime stories and explaining himself, you know. Oh, my God. I ain't never seen a rap battle with somebody doing that before. <laughs> Man, subscribe. Subscribe. Like this shit. Comment if you want to. Gotta lose. So, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. This is Old Man Yummy yeah, Signing off. Guys, take it easy out there. Y'all be safe. Holla at your boy. Peace, sir.